Hello and welcome to Infinity. One way of working on editing photographs is to divide the picture up into zones uh, and zones in particular uh, around luminosity about how light and dark it is. And the simplest of those is three zones, which is simply the darks, the midtones and the lights. And as we'll see, this is very, very useful and there are a number of tools to do it. This is the first video in a series in which we're going to look at the different tools and how they might be used. And the first one is curves. In this, we're also going to show that perhaps some new things about it as well. OK, let's get going with this. So we can see with this picture here, if we go to the histogram, we can see here that there's not much down the bottom. And in other words, there's no real blacks in here or darks. And up the top end here, there's not much in the way of lights, although you get white here, it's actually pretty grey. So we want to do something about that. We can do this with curves, but actually to, to tidy up that front end there. If we do it with curves, you get the histogram here. We've only got the white one here. We've got coloured ones. We could just bring these in here so it goes to between the edges here but we're not sure what's happening about the lower down things. So it so can be useful to start with levels if you've got a problem here. And what we do here is you see there's the white, which is the combined thing down here, but then there's also colours which go beyond that. So I can bring down this one to the edge here, and that will then make sure that white's kind of there. So the whitest part of the image, the lightest part, will be white. Down the bottom here, it's a little trickier because if I bring it into here, then I've got some bits left over in here. So I've got the where everything starts together here. The picture sort of looks all right, so that's the main thing. But what's happening with these, this bit of red in all here? And a way to figure this out is to bring the other one down almost to here, and you can see here you've got some areas here which are the only things left when we get together like this and this is the areas that will be affected and you can see this is actually just within the blue of the coat itself and some bits of yellow here up in the tree so that's generally should be okay so let's just put that back out there and then just take that as it is and already you can see that be with the before and after the picture is much better already. Another thing we can do, it's optional, but to see what's happening in terms of the change in luminosity is to take a rectangle here. And when we've got the fill color with this, you can see the fill color is set from white to black here. And if it's not already set that way, you can always click on the gradient here and click on each of these to set that color. But with this, I can now set a draw a rectangle here. And it's going there from from black to white. So I can see the changes in this. If I drag this rectangle down below here on the original picture, you can see the way pulled in the edges of levels. Effectively, a lot of this is white from here to here and this is black from here to here. So if actually I'm constraining the amount here, but making it literally goes from black to white in the main areas of the picture. I can move this up here. Now this is after that adjustment. So now it's going from black to white on the full thing. So if I put curves in now, I can see also in the histogram here, this is a full one. I've got a little bit of red and I've been pushed over the edge, but that's actually okay. So what I can do here, and the normal thing to do is to do something of an S-curve. I want to increase the contrast. I make the lights lighter and the darks darker. But what's actually happening here is this area here, from here, this is the darks, this is the midtones, this is the lights here. And it's a good way of dividing it is on the 25 and 75 line as the kind of break points where you put the dots. And with this, when you get the gradient of the line, as you look at it here, the gradient of the line has decreased. It's not a great big slope, so this means that I'm decreasing the contrast. When I make the slope of the line steeper, 
going across here, like it's going up a hill and this is getting steeper, then the contrast is increased. And here in the lights, the contrast is decreased again. So in other words, I'm buying a sharper contrast, a steeper contrast across the mid-tones by sacrificing it in the lights here. And this is generally okay because the eye simply does not distinguish much in the way of difference in contrast across the early blacks there and the up towards the whites here. So if I take this before and after and you look at this here before and after, you don't see a great deal of change, although there's notable change in the picture because we've made this steeper, because we've literally let the blacks taken the contrast out of the blacks, which we don't see much, taken the contrast out of the blacks, those are the whites, which we don't see much, and then we put it into the midtones, which we see more of. So there we have already increased this. We've improved the contrast in the midtones. What you might notice with this is the background here has gone a bit light. So what we do with the, the curves here, so I can go to the picker here, I just put this into here and say, where is this? Oh, it's actually up there. So I can just take one of those up here and go, let's not make that any lighter. We don't need to make that lighter. We'll bring that down a bit. And uh, we can bring this down a bit here to make this, the blacks, less contrast in here. But what we're doing again is we're keeping that steeper area here so there's more contrast within the mid-tones, which is where we want it. So that's a way that you can use the picker and looking at the actual lightness of things as you perceive them to decide where you want to do this. Don't just do a blind S-curve. Well, it's probably about enough for now, so thank you very much for watching.